G'day everybody, Steve from Mud Ducks 4 Drive Touring. Up in the Barrington Tops with another spotlight on campgrounds for you. Today we're up at Pole Blue Campground. Now I've parked in the picnic area. I'm going for a walk up to the campground. It's about lunchtime. We're going to have a feed, so we decided to do it in the picnic area. We're not camping this weekend. We're just driving through the area because it's pleasant. So I'll give you a look at the campground. Yeah, any of you who've seen my videos before have seen some of this campground already. That was before I was doing spotlights. So I'm in the area again, so I thought I'd show you. What's around Pole Blue Campground is a nice nature walk. I'll give you a look at this. It's the Pole Blue Swamp Walk. So that's pretty cool. And we've got these nice bridge and everything here. It's a very pleasant walk this. I've walked it before. It's worth a look. You know, when I get up here into the campground, I'll show you some more, but we're on the little creek here. And the sort of a swamp area. I'll give you a quick look at the view. And then I'll show you around the campground. I've walked up to the campground from the picnic area. As you can see, this campground has pit toilets, water, which would be suitable for washing hands and dishes and stuff. Don't know if you'd be going to drink it. Maybe. Anyway, it's a large campground, this guys. That's just an area they're regenerating. Uh, it's relatively grassy as you can see there's fire pits and once again this is in Barrington Tops National Park so there's camp fees and uh, park fees and all that kind of stuff but what you've got here is a pretty big area now as I said I've walked in from the the uh, picnic grounds so I'm sort of starting this one a bit the wrong way around guys and in the centre here is a roped off area where the, you, know, you can get through here obviously there's a gate so it's like a little picnic area in the middle of the campground and it gets bloody cold up here in winter so being a national park you have to bring your wood in with you but when you're in here you've got a fire and stuff now i'll just try to show you that a bit better hang on all right i've turned my little light on hopefully it helps a bit here's your fireplace now i've been in here with her when this fireplace has been lit but then it was put out and it was warm, it was still warm from being in there. Now you've got two gas barbecues. I've never used these barbies, but you now they're provided. So this is all part of National Park. So that's a good little shelter there. And it's out of the wind because those three walls. A nice little bit of picnicking area here. You walk back through these bollards. Who thought there'd be bollards in National Park, guys? Anyway, it's camping all down in that area there. That's all okay. And this roadway's a pretty decent bit of road. So you've got no problems with driving. So yeah, it's, uh, it's not a bad campground. This now, as I said, this fees to National Park. You gotta expect that. Uh, well, it's big. Now I've seen road going caravans, off road caravans, camper trailers, tents, swags, you name it, you can get any. Road cars is straight off a major forest road. It's on the main thoroughfare between Scone and Gloucester. 
But as you can see, there's a lot of room here. And there's last, lots of people left plenty of firewood around, but I'd be bringing your own because you can't guarantee you're going to get any up here. And as you can see, it's a bit grassed. It's also got this bluestone road in the middle. Some more toilet blocks there. So this will hold dozens of people because it's, it's big, it's a big campground. It's also popular in the popular times of the year as you'd expect, long weekends, public holidays, school holidays, so on. But you can pretty well get in here any time. So I won't walk all the way around to the edge of it. Walk through the middle. In fact, the part I'm walking in now is where I camped last time I was here. I'm almost on my campsite. So, in fact, I'm standing on my campsite right now. But you can see in the distance, it goes off further into the bush there. This is sort of in the middle, that ring road that I was walking on goes right around this. But even here, there's another formed road. Now, there's no formed fire pits, but there's lots of places where campfires have been, including mine. So, plenty of room here. Relatively flat. Nice big area. And yes, there's fee on it, but yeah, it's a national park. So, you've got to expect that, haven't you? Now, I've not seen anybody camped in there because it's a little bit rougher. That'd be a swag type of spot. I don't know if you'd want to take your car in there. And you don't really need to, you've got all the rest of it. We're looking at that direction. That's your main roadway in. So if you were doing a clockwise loop, you'd now be on the main road here. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, I, uh, I hope you're enjoying these spotlights, guys. I will try to do them wherever I can around the country. So hopefully this is, well, not hopefully. This is going to be an ongoing series. I'd like to think that my subscribers from around the country who are not local to the Hunter Valley area uh, get a bit of guidance out of these videos and maybe give you an idea of where to come to. Now that central camping area is on my right. So it looks like you're meant to drive all the way around it and back to it. Or drive in to the right and into there because that's all bollarded there as you can see. Now here's your, your pay station. Not a play station for you gamers. A pay station. You can do all the usual stuff there and more camping in behind it. Albeit, this bit's bollarded, although it does stop. Yeah, the bollards stop, so I've gone off the road, typical. But if you go past those toilets, round to the left, that's the left side of that central area I showed you earlier. And all this is campsite in here. There is a fire ring, evidence of other campfires. Pretty, pretty good area to bring your uh, your Snow Peak fire pits or your Drifter fire pits or any of those kind of fire pits. Whatever fire pit you've got, if you don't want to have a fire on the ground, don't. It's up to you. As you can see, it's a very large area. I'm rabbiting on, so I don't need to keep bumping me gums, guys. As you can see, the track goes around to the left there to more camping. It's huge, this spot. 
a few moments later. Now, as I'm walking back to the picnic ground, I thought I'd mention something I haven't mentioned on other Spotlight on Campgrounds videos, guys, but most of these national parks, state forests, where they supply you pit toilets, they use a bacteria to break down our mess. Probably the best way of putting it. Now, if you've got chemical toilets, porta potties and stuff, don't empty them in there. It kills the bacteria, which then means the toilet won't compost as it should, leads to smells, and it's just generally unpleasant. Dump them at proper dump points, guys. And uh, we'll be happy. It'll be good for everybody. Anyhow, I think that's about it for the Pole Blue campground. I try not to step in a whole bunch of horse manure here. There's brumbies in this area. I've not ever come across them, but they're out here. And there's plenty of evidence on the ground, I can tell you. Now, I'll pan the camera around quickly to show you the camping area. I oh, don't the camping area. What am I saying? I just showed you the camping area. The picnic area. I'll do that at the end. So, as always, thanks for watching my videos. If you've just found this channel, you're new, consider subscribing, it really helps. If you're an old hand, thanks as always for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos. And we will no doubt. See you on the next one. Uh, so take it easy, guys. All the best. Pole Blue Picnic Area. A few little tables, some more roofs. Central car park and a view out over the swamp, which is unlike other swamps, it's actually quite pretty. Just walk you through the car park to the other side. That's the start of that pole blue swamp walk down there. And more picnic tables up here. Another enclosure. That looks like it's got gas barbecues as well. Okay. Cheers guys, we'll see you soon. Even in the cold, it's all blue. We can cook food. No, they're not tasty.